Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video. Today is gonna be a bit different video than all my other videos. Essentially, I just wanna do day in the life of a software engineer in Edinburgh. I'm gonna be doing some coding on my side project. Um, I'm gonna take you along. Uh, essentially, I need to set up my repo, my database and start off my project. And I'm gonna go around Edinburgh, show a little bit of the city, find a coffee shop where I can do some coding. Okay, let's go. I got settled in this coffee shop, which I love by the way, they have great coffee and they have these little booths where you can just sit in and do your stuff. The mission for my work here in the coffee shop is to set up my database and initialize all the tables and stuff. So I have the eraser schema that I made in my previous videos. So what I'm gonna do here is use ChatGPT to convert the schema into Prisma code so I can initialize all the tables. I don't really use ChatGPT or any other AIs to be honest, but for stuff like this it's just very easy to get ChatGPT to do the manual work and there's no logic in this at all, just convert one schema into another. Once I got the schema, I'm installing the Prisma package in my project and setting up all the configs and stuff. I'm gonna use PostgreSQL for my database. I explain more about the database in my database video if you wanna watch that, but that's what I'm gonna use for this project. And once I've got my Prisma setup ready, I initialize the database and I have the tables. So then I can store my data in there and do all the stuff that I need to do. I love Prisma, by the way. I'm a big fan of Prisma or other ORMs. Basically, you don't have to think about SQL, which is great. I love stuff that makes development easier. This is definitely one of them. And it's time to go back home and do some more work to actually have at least one integration ready with my entities. So I just got home, um, that was a nice coffee in a nice place in Edinburgh. What I wanna do right now is just jump into creating the components, like the crowd operations for all my ingredients, for my meals. I'm just gonna start there. I haven't really have a big kind of vision for this, but I just wanna jump in and do some coding. Um, I need to do more planning in the future because I haven't really planned out what am I gonna be doing on my app? Anyways, I've got my table already. That's good. Start working on the ingredients. So here I am building a form to create an ingredient, which I think is the smallest entity of my project. So I thought I'm gonna start with this. Create a form so I can actually enter details and have that saved into a database, so just to have that integration from the form to the database and see how it looks. I started just with a simple, simple bare HTML form and quickly realized how ugly it is. And I remember seeing a component library called ShotCN. So I went in there, grabbed the form component um, and set all that up. I used that to create my form for creating an ingredient, added all the info that I need for the ingredient, all the data. I did need to do some Googling to figure out how to use the Prisma client to actually create an entry into my database for the ingredients table. Once I've got all of that figured out, I made the great ingredient form, which all worked. And then I wanted to do another integration, which was to list all the entries in the ingredients database, basically to see all of the ingredients that I have in my database. So I went back to ShotCN, I found a table that I wanted to use and made the integration. This was a bit easier now. I used the Prisma client again to get all of the entries for the ingredients table without any filtering or anything like that for now. Changed all of the table columns and headers to populate the data with all of my ingredients. I love the component library ShotCN. I think there's another one similar to this one people use but I think I'm gonna stick to this one for now and and I'm sh I think I'm gonna build the whole project using this library. It's just very easy to use. You install the components, it copies them in your project. So it's not actually a package that you're using. So you can change all of the stuff and figure out. And it's using Tailwind as well, which my project is also using Tailwind because this, uh, I'm using Next.js, which has Tailwind integrated. And of course I went with dark mode, like any developer would in 2024. <laughs> yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I did make some small progress on my project. Um, the weather was nice. I'm happy I went out. And 
I know it's a bit different video for me, I don't usually make videos like this. I use the ShadCN library or component package or whatever it's called, I don't know what it is. Um, but I used that for the first time and that was nice. I like all of their components, obviously so they're very easy to use. So yeah, I'm gonna continue working on my project. I'm probably gonna do a lot more from next week. And let me know if you like these types of videos. I'm gonna make more. If you do, click like or just put it down in the comments or whatever. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy coding. Bye.